Hello everyone and welcome to this material video. In this video, we're going to take an object, in this case a gem, and show you how to do a gem material. Now, if you want to follow along, I've left a link in the description below where you can find access to the same gem object that I'm using. So feel free to download it and have a crack at it for yourself. So, let's get started. So we've got this gem asset and we're going to make a nice little shiny gem material for our gem here. So I'm going to close that and we're going to go ahead and create a new material. Um, gem. And open it up. Now to make life a lot easier and to get a better idea of how it's going to look in the end product, we're going to change our preview over here in the left here to our gem. And the way you do this is you select the gem asset in your, uh, in your uh, content browser. And then in the material editor, you're going to click on the little brick icon in the corner here. And there it is. Okay. So now we've got something a bit more representative of what we're going to have. So a gem is going to be translucent. So we need to first of all change the blend mode from opaque to translucent. And we're going to be using a bit of base color, emissive color, and opacity as well as using refraction. Now refraction, if you're using Unreal 5.3 onwards, I think it is, it's disabled by default. Uh, we want to enable it back on. So if you go down to your details panel and see, search for refraction, you'll see refraction method set to none. You want to change that to index of refraction. And it'd be fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a little gem. So first thing we'll do is add some color. So we're going to hold down three on our keyboard and left click to create our color node. And we're going to open it up and set to green, I think. And we're going to chuck that into the base color. And there's the gem color. Um, we want obviously the opacity to be a part of this. So I'm going to change opacity down to point, uh, six. Now, if you're using an older version of Unreal, uh, where you don't have the ability to type in these values, you can just hold down one left click and plug it in and set it as such here. So like 0.6, yeah, 0.7, whatever you want. Uh, I'll leave it at 0.7 actually. Next is the refraction index. So the refraction index is how light is going to refract inside of this thing. So if I were to change this value, and I can do that with a, another, a scalar here, I'm going to change it to three, like so. And you can see how through the image itself, it's sort of bending what's behind it. Yeah, it's not exactly flat and straight as it should be. Okay. Now, this is a very, very basic thing at the moment. Let's make it a bit better. So I'm going to use a Fresnel node to add a sort of glow to it, a soft glow to it. So with the Fresnel node, we're gonna go ahead and plug that into emissive color. And you get that sort of like shiny glow. And this is by by default, the just white. So I can multiply that by a highlight, which I can another color. And I'm gonna give it, it's like a yellow sort of highlight. And you get that sort of yellow tinge on the edges there, which is looking pretty nice. Yeah. Um, and the, by default, materials are set to be one-sided. So we're not seeing the object through itself. We want to be able to see the other side and see that refraction there and the first all acting on that too. So I'm going to click on our main node over here on the right and we're going to tick on two-sided. Okay, looking a bit nicer. I can see a lot more gem-like appearance now. And uh, adjust the opacity a little bit to 0.5. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. And with the first all node, what that does is it's sort of catching the tangent lines on an object. So the edges of it, basically. And edges change as your camera rotates around it, but it will catch those edges and highlight it. And we can change the exponent and the base reflect fraction to get different effects out of this. So if I change the base reflect fraction down to 
0.04 to 0 0.02, the color is going to spread a bit more across it. All right. And the exponent, I can bring that down to, say, 2. And I'll get a sharper edge. You can see we've got nice sharper edges on our lines here for our first knot. Okay, looking good. We'll apply that and save that. Okay, so let's see what that looks like in the world. Um, so I'm going to go to the gem actor. The actual, not actor, sorry, the actual uh, static mesh uh, asset. Go to our material and set it to mgem. There it is. So let's see what it looks like in the world. So at the moment, very small. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger in a second. First of all, let's just see what it looks like in what it should be doing. Yeah, looking very nice, looking very gem-like. Okay, I'm happy with that. So next, I'm going to uh, say improve the scaling of this. So the default scaling of this is too small. Um, so I've got this file. And I'll put the link to the file as well in the description so you can download it yourself and follow along if you like. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and, well, actually, let's go first of all, open it, it would help. And then go into the details panel and search for a transform. And you'll see the import settings for transform. And in there will be import uniform scale. I'm going to set that to five. And when I'm happy with that, I'm going to hit on report base mesh. And re-import, it's going to bring that back in, looking a bit better like that. And we can also do other things like rotation to scale it too. So you may want it not to be laying down at start. You want it to be standing up. So we can rotate that in the X uh, by 90. Re-import. There it is. And we can also rise it up a little bit too. So the height of this thing is 50. So I'm going to raise it up. A 25. There we go. That is our gym. Save. Close that. So now I can reset all this back to how it was. Oh. And there's our gym. Now if you want to go one step further and make your gem far more uh useful as a gem material we can go into the material and convert various options here into fun uh, into function variables so this is going to be the base color so i'm going to right click on this one and convert to parameter and we'll call this one base color this yellow one is going to be the highlights so i'm going to right click on this and convert to parameter and call it highlights color the opacity, we're going to convert to parameter opacity. And refraction index, we're going to convert to parameter refraction index. Okay, and that should do it there. And the benefit of doing that means I can now make instances of this material. So if I right click on this, create material instance, and then do it again. I'm going here, I'm going to change the vectors of my colors so my base color i'm going to tick it on i can change it to like a blue for example and the highlight color i can change to uh let's say a green okay that's what turquoise looking effect yeah. and i can set that to the material instance by just clicking on the instance there and applying it to the mesh. We'll just do one more. Do a red one. So base color. Red. And then the highlight color will make sort of purplish. Very nice. Save that. And there we go. We've now got a red one. 
So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video on material editor and creating a gem material. If you like this video and want to see more of this type of video, head over to our comment section and leave a comment below about what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.